Through the course of the COVID pandemic, the response from Toronto Public Health has required a lot of resources, staff, and of course, money. And now that those efforts are being scaled back, the budget moving forward has come into question. And that could mean some major cuts being put on the table. What is a good budget for Toronto Public Health in order for us as an organization to actually achieve our mandate? Vaccination campaigns and clinics, along with major coordination efforts, were at the forefront of the city's efforts to deal with COVID over the last two and a half years. But the return to priorities before the pandemic may require cutting $9 million and more than 400 jobs. There's no question. COVID-19 and the response that it has required has taken up a significant proportion of our resources and has limited our ability to do things that we would normally do uh, in non-COVID times. Toronto Public Health's budget last year was $370 million with 2,700 staff. Losing the money and resources now has raised concerns among those making the decision at the Board of Health, beginning the budget process. I'm deeply concerned. Uh, I don't know if we're maintaining a robust enough capacity if the pandemic starts to really spiral again. Uh, but also, you know, we're three years in now and many of the things we had to stop doing temporarily, we're still not doing and three years isn't temporary anymore. The tough decisions have been held off until the start of 2023, when the bulk of the city's overall budget will be dealt with. One that will include a near $1 billion deficit. We simply need more information so that the new council and the new board of health can make a heads up decision having all the knowledge in front of them on uh, the kinds of uh, cuts that, that, that may be present. In the meantime, Toronto's Board of Health has requested that Dr. Eileen Davila urgently explore the possibility of reinstating mask mandates, specifically in schools, out of concern for children's respiratory illnesses. Davila said the city will continue to follow provincial guidelines for now, but masks are still a good idea. A mask is an excellent idea. It is one of the most effective layers of protection that we have. It's just another layer of protection, particularly important for those who are at higher risk. On another COVID note, the city has announced that the mandatory vaccination that was required of city staff is no longer needed. That decision is based on 99% of city staff having received at least two COVID vaccines. Mark McAllister, City News.